right, we are here at Cedia 2023 in the Paradigm booth. That's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delasala with Audiohawks. We're here with Blake Altley from Paradigm. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing very well. It's nice to see you. You know, Blake, I always love coming to your exhibits here. You guys put on great demos at the show. Of course, we've favorably reviewed the Founder Series. We're big fans of this entire range of products, including that massive, what is it, the X13 subwoofer? XR13 and XR11 subs, yeah. That sub is a beast. I won't try to lift it. Trust me, I won't try to lift it. There's also an 11 inch model as well. But what we're talking about today is you've added some color options, color finish options to the Founder Series. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I'd love to. So um, this is our 41st anniversary and we decided that we wanted to do something special for the new Founder Series. Um, and so what we've done is we've added a few new finishes and they're very unique compared to the other finishes we have. So we've got our standard wood finishes and gloss finishes that you can get. Mm -hmm. That's available in both the XR series, as you mentioned, and the Founder series. But for the 41st anniversary, we've added some matte finishes here. So three new colors. Um, we've got a blue, a gray, and a red, and their icy azure is the blue. We've got a frozen charcoal for the gray, and then a ruby frostbite for the red. So they're uh, very, uh, like a pop of color we've got with the blue and the red and the gray, they, they, they stand out quite a bit, but because of the matte finish, they really show off the contours of the facet design. And they can also fit into a whole lot of rooms, even though they're a, you know, a, a real wild color in a sense, but they really, they're, they're a bit tame because of the matte finish, they, and they really, really suit the finish of these speakers here. So you can get this in the tower in the center channel as well, the LCR? Any of the models that you wanted. But not the subwoofers? Not the subwoofers, yeah. just, not yet. Right. Just, just for the speakers right now. I got gotcha. you. So um, one thing I wanted to ask you about is I saw some sound bars here. I'm not too familiar with your sound bar products. Can you tell us what's new in the I, Paradigm lineup? For, are they passive or are they active sound bars? They're passive. I'd, lo I'd love to tell you all about them. So we've had the decor lineup now for some time, and that is a custom length sound bar. So we cut it to length, whatever TV you have. You tell us the TV measurement. We have a bunch saved in our da database already. We can also custom contour the grill to, ma to, to match up to the IR bump out or, or the logo on your TV. We, have, we save a database of those. We can match that so it's seamless to your TV. And we also have a TV mount that mounts the soundbar directly so it's flush with your TV and it, you, you wouldn't know there's a soundbar there. So that was the V1. V2, we've added a few things. Uh, number one, we've added a grill option, which is an aluminum grill which lets you also take the soundbar outside. So it's a full aluminum closure now as well. We used to have an MDF face. Now it's a full aluminum closure with an aluminum grill option. So it's an IP65 rated. You can mount it outside with your TV. So again, you can, if you have an outdoor TV for, for a living space and you want to have a, some better sound out there for your TV, you can bring this outside. We can also bring this beautiful aluminum grill inside. We've updated the audio platform in them as well. Before we'd have standard driver arrays uh, for, for each of the models, and as they got bigger, they would just grow larger. They sounded great, but we had more room that, for drivers that we didn't use. So what we've done now is as they grow, we've got different segments of drivers to, to add, whether it be active drivers, and in some cases, passive radiators, just to get the best sound of them so as possible. To get better bass extension. Better bass extension, yeah. more MOL. Uh, it's just a better overall experience. As you get bigger, we make use of that large cabinet. Yeah, that's a great idea because there are some other competitors that do custom co size sound bars, but it's just empty space. They don't add extra drivers to get the extra performance advantage of having a larger sound bar. Exactly. And so we decided to, to take advantage of that. The space is there, why not? Uh, we've added a few other things to the lineup as well, um, mainly being the mounting systems. Now we include the mounting systems, both the fixed wall bracket, which gets it real nice tight to the wall, or the TV mount that mounts it in between your TV and your TV mount. We've, we've updated that to make it a lot more adjustable, um, reusable, 
so you can take the bar off now, adjust it back and forth, left to right. If you, you know, if something's off a bit, you can you can adjust it a bunch of times, and it's much easier to install than it was previously. Um, so we're really excited about this passive soundbar line, and it will be launching uh, end of October, so very soon. Cool. Now you got a black box here. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is? I would love to. So. Uh, and, and it dovetails perfectly into the, the decor uh, conversation. We've got our new Anthem MRX SLM. So this is a 5.1 receiver. Um, it's got 50 watts per channel. That's obviously got a sub out as well. We have Anthem room correction in here. We've got our full web UI set up like we would with the MRX and AVM lineups and all, all the Anthem products that we have coming out now. Um, we've got uh, HDMI eARC in and then one in, in as well. But the, the purpose of this soundbar is to be mounted either behind the TV on the wall or uh, or in a, something like a Versa box or rack mounted if you want to have a stack of these because they're just one U high. And so it offers a ton of flexibility. They sound amazing. We've got multiple demos running off of these guys in there now and we're letting people know about these guys and they're, we're just really excited about everything these can do. That's really convenient if you want to set up a compact 5.1 system and you don't have space or you know a, a cabinet shelf or whatever for a full-fledged receiver, it's nice that you can just mount this right behind the TV yeah. through all your connections and everything. Behind the TV, and even if you don't even if you don't want to mount it behind the TV, you can sit it on the tabletop and it stands out of the way. It's on a big bulky thing with bright lights shining everywhere. And like you said, if you if you don't have the space and you don't want to do a wire run of five wires with all the speakers and your sub lines, you just need to bring power. Uh, and then these guys, they're Wi-Fi. You can either connect through IP for all your control drivers here, mm -hmm. um, or, or you can connect over Wi-Fi and then just run an Ethernet cable. And that's the only cable you need to pull. And now this is connected to your whole system, and you can run it remotely there and, awesome. and your secondary and What's the price on this? This guy's retailing at twelve ninety nine US. Awesome. Oh, last question: Is the premium finishes on the founders? Is there a cost increase for that as well? There is. Um, so the premium finishes for the founders is going to be five hundred a pair for the towers, and then. 250 for the large center channel and be 125 for the small center channel and uh, uh, 250 for the pair of bookshelves. So it's a custom order kind of product. You have to is a longer lead time to do that. I uh, know it'll be available as, as a standard SKU, so you can just you can just order it up. We'll be making them so they're ready to go. Uh, but they're just a more difficult finish to complete. And with matte finishes, you can't really buff them out. So you you you, know, you have to get it right the first time. It takes a lot of care to do this and a lot of a lot of extra steps, more coats of paint to get it right. So it's. You have to charge a little bit more for them. Gotcha. Well, Blake, I appreciate you dropping the knowledge here on all the new Paradigm stuff. We're excited about this. I personally like the blue ones. I'd like to get a pair of blue ones in my house one of these make days. It happen. Awesome. <laughs> well, guys, if you like this video, please hit the thumb up, hit the subscribe. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you want to suggest video topics. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.